Hey guys, it's me asleep. So this video is a scrap version of my upcoming uh, tier list video due to me getting a new laptop. I feel like the quality of the video after reflecting on it is not really that good. The commentary is not that much of a commentary. So yeah, we would decide to re uh, remade this from the ground up and see y'all later when I finish that. Enjoy the scrap version. Ben 10 original series is the first installment of the classic continuity and the fan franchise as a whole, being the most recognizable installment. So today, I'm gonna be watching and ranking the finale of each season and see if it holds up. Let's get binging. We opened the episode with some good old Ben 10 fight climb. Bada bing bada boom and now he's just captured the Steve without people knowing that he is actually the diamond guy. With the person that we've been hyped for for the whole season oversees everything. And he's coming out baby. Now we cut back to Ben who just woken up from that cold open that we just saw. With him explaining every detail of what he sees in his nightmare, Max decided it's time to go to the Mount Rushmore right now. Now we cut back to space where Vilkak is trying to track down the Omnitrix when it's activated. Which it did because Ben was using it to mess around with his cousin Gwen. After getting lectured by Max, he has noticed that something going on in the town because Vilkak has arrived. Max trying to warn Ben to not going there because this might be a trap, but Ben didn't listen. So he runs on Bill Gags and throws him out of the ship instead. Also, holy shit, I didn't know upgrades is versatile. He's so strong and without glider. Like, oh my god. But yeah, their fight continue on the Mount Rushmore and given us one of the coolest fight scenes in the classic series. The fight scene is so cool, I had to cut the timeline to show it to you. <laughs> I had to speed that up because it was too long, but now let's go back to our regular pacing. Max is finally setting up the thing that he need on Vilgax's ship, and now he and Gwen are getting out there. They got out, but they met Vilgax. Cut back to Ben, who just escaped from Vilgax's attack. I found out that Vilgax has captured Max and Gwen hostage. So now he has to either give up the watch or give up his family life to Vilgax, which both would be very devastating for him. But he chose to give up his watch. But when Vilgax started the episode with a familiar ship that we saw in this season, in the episode 5, Grudge Match, showing the aftermath that after Kevin was left in space, he has become the champion of the ship and the owner of the tournament. Which also means that Pegorok has probably been killed, knowing who Kevin is. RIP. Also, this episode marks the first time Kevin and Vilgax have ever met. Probably the only time they have been allies. You know, because Alien Force happened. Now we cut back to the main trio, admiring the environment while Ben is just messing around with his Omnitrix, an action that he would repeat even after this episode. Which you probably know why if you've seen this episode before. And if you haven't seen this episode before, it's because he unlocked one of the most iconic features, a Master Control. Which allows Ben to turn to different aliens just by saying their name or mentally saying it. Now we cut back to 